So let's face it, you got this bike because it's an electric bicycle. So let's talk about the electronics. The electric bicycle system is made up of a few different parts. You've got the motor right here at the cranks, a battery, which in this case is inside the down tube. It can also be on the outside or on the rear rack. Um, and then you've got the console. Essentially, these three parts work together with your pedaling and the gears to make an e-bike a magical experience. So in this section of the video, I'll talk a little bit about just the most basics of how the system works, a couple key things to know just so you can comfortably use the system, and then charging. To turn the Intuvia system on, push the on button, the power button right there. You'll know that the system is all hooked up when you can read the uh, speedometer on the big numbers on the screen. You change your levels of assist with this plus and minus button. You'll choose a level. And then the information button on the console and the thumb controller and on the console are the same. They will toggle you through odometer your trip distance, which can be reset by holding down reset on the console, a clock, max speed, which can also be reset, average speed, trip time, and a range estimator, which is really a very broad range, range estimator, and it has a lot to do with how much power has been used in the last two miles, so don't get too wrapped up with that. Um, it's important to know that the bike has a walk throttle. The walk throttle requires a few things for setup. The most important is that you're in a level of assist. So you need to see that you're not in off. If you're in off, the walk throttle won't work. Next, there's a button above the plus button that you push down, and then you push plus to initiate the walk assist. You have to hold down the plus for as long as you want walk assist, and then you can release and it will stop. You turn the system off again with the power button, or after it's in standby for a few minutes, it'll turn itself off. The Intuvia console is removable. You push the lever at the top of the screen, and then push up, and it comes right off. It has a battery to manage the clock on board, and so the system will actually turn on even when it's off the bike. This can be a little bit uh, odd or surprising if the, bra if the console is only halfway on, because you come to your bike and you turn it on, and everything will look good, except for you can't change any level of assist and there's no, no speedometer. If ever that happens, just be sure that you're fully clicked on. In all likelihood, that's the problem. Levels of assist will begin to work, and you'll be off and running. So here's how you turn the Purion display. There's a button at the top of the console which allows you to turn it on. Use the plus button to go into a level of assist. Minus will take you down. Now, each button has a dual function. So the plus button, by holding for a long hold, will turn the lights on and off. And the minus button will change the display information. So right now we have speed and level of assist. If you hold the minus button, you get speed and your trip distance, which can be reset by holding down both the plus and minus buttons at the same time. Then you've got your odometer. You've got your range, which again is really an estimate, uh, shouldn't be taken with too much seriousness, and then back to your level of assist. Your walk throttle. Is op operates right down here. So as a reminder, to use the walk throttle, you need to be in a level of assist, meaning it will not work if you're in off. Step two is that you push walk, and then step three is you hold the, walk, the plus button down, and the bike will move itself. You need to be holding the plus button for as long as you want the walk assist to work. To turn the system off, again, you push the power button, or it'll turn itself off in about 10 minutes. So to turn the Kiox display on, you use the left button underneath the screen. The lights are controlled with the right button underneath the screen. And then 
The power is controlled with the plus and minus buttons, and your trip computer information can be changed with these lateral buttons. It's very simple. The system will turn itself off, or you can turn it off right here. And then to remove the console, it's actually a magnetic bracket, and you pull up and out, and then you reseat like that. There's a small auxiliary part of the electronic system on the rear wheel. It is comprised of a speed sensor, which sits on the chain stay, and a magnet, which tells the system how fast you're going. The system doesn't work without it. So if a branch knocks the magnet out of place, or maybe a mechanic forgets to reinstall the magnet after changing a tire, the bike will actually throw an error code. It happens to be error 503 and the bike will feel really pulsy and not work properly. Now, this is probably something that you'll probably forget, but it's a good thing to have stored in the back of your memory, just in case. The assistance system on your bike will provide just pure enjoyment as you ride, but it needs to be charged. And people often wonder, what's the best rule of thumb as far as charging, and how do I know when to charge? Well, you'll be able to read on your console how much battery you have. Every console has an indication of current battery charge status. Now, you can charge on board or off board. It's best practice to unplug the battery after it's done charging. So I'd recommend don't leave it charging for more than 24 hours if you can help it, especially if you're on holiday or something like that. Batteries don't like to be charged in extreme temperatures. In fact, they don't like extreme temperatures at all. So don't charge the battery in direct sunlight. And if it's freezing, Take the battery inside and charge it. So that brings me to removing the battery from the bike. On Bosch bikes, there are two different types of battery configuration. There are internal batteries, like on this bike, and then there are external. And I'll go over both right now. Removing a power pack battery. The power pack is an external battery and it works very simply. There's a keyhole on the opposite side actually from the camera um, and you simply turn the key and pull the battery off. On this bike, the charge port is at the end of the battery and the magic button for waking up the battery or learning how much charge you have is right here. The more important thing is actually how to reseat the battery. And it's very straightforward, but there's an important auditory click that you need to look at for to make sure that it's actually on. So you seat the battery at the, char at the port at the bottom, and then you push on and you listen for that click. That's what tells you that the lock has actually secured the battery. I like to kind of wiggle the battery just to make sure that it's on all the way. On this bike, the battery drops out of the bottom of the frame. So you locate the keyhole and insert the key. Turning the key causes the battery to come down about half an inch. It will never fall out of the frame at this point. You push the button at the top of the battery, and that actually releases the battery fully. Then you're going to pull the battery out, and this is it. This, at the end, is the charge port. And you'll notice it looks exactly the same as the charge port on the frame. You can plug in here to charge your battery. As you charge, these lights will flash, telling you when the bike has been fully charged. Now this brings me to another really important tip for the use of the Bosch bike. If you don't ride your bike for a few weeks in a row, the battery actually disassociates with the rest of the system and goes into a sleep mode which means that the bike won't turn on properly. There are two ways of solving that problem. One is plugging the charger in to start charging the battery again. And the second is pushing this button, which is on the outside of the battery, and it returns on the bike, and you can check your battery charge state, or you can wake up the battery. To reseat the battery, you simply start by turning the charge port toward the bottom of the bike. You insert into the frame, and then you need to turn the key in order to push the battery in. 
Finally, you push the rest of the way in, remove the key, and that's it. So this is your charger. It comes with your bike, and it plugs into the wall, just a regular 110 outlet, with this cord. This side goes into the wall, looks familiar I'm sure, and this side goes into the charger. Like I said, you can charge the bike on board or off board. For on board charging, you're going to find the charging port either on the frame or on the battery, and you simply push it in and it charges up. 